too. Tonight, some local students are celebrating a major achievement after being named finalists in one of the nation's premier STEM competitions. And tonight's Innovate 8, CBS 8's Shannon Handy introduces us to two of them, along with the projects that made them stand out. These students are the best of the best. 300 finalists were chosen out of 2,000 kids nationwide, and seven of them are from right here in San Diego. It's definitely empowering. At 14 years old, Lily Long knows more about software and engineering than most kids her age. I'd really like to do something in engineering, either software development or mechanical engineering. It's something the high school freshman has been passionate about for years, essentially understanding how something works and the impact it has. So my project is kind of this perfect crossroads between the two. That's what sparked her interest in artificial intelligence, so much so she researched it for months, creating a study that caught the attention of the Society for Science. My project was on ChatGPT, the novel technology that can write essays. I wanted to look into the effects that this is going to have on classrooms worldwide. Lily was just named a top 300 junior innovator in the inaugural Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge, the country's premier STEM competition for middle school students. To be considered, you first have to rank in the top 10 percent of science fairs nationwide. Lily is joined by six other San Diego students who are also named finalists, including Samuel Sternson. You would take the leaf, cut it up. The 13 year old built a machine used to study the production of natural UV absorbing sunscreens and plant leaves. Everyone knows that you need sunscreen to protect yourselves from the sun, otherwise you get sunburn or an extreme area of skin cancer. But um, I was thinking, well, why don't plants have to have sunscreen? How do they not get damaged from the sun? Coincidentally, Samuel and Lily know each other. They were classmates together at Rhodes School in Encinitas, where Samuel still attends. In fact, three of the seven local finalists are from Rhodes. Both Lily and Samuel say they are honored to have received recognition for their hard work. Next week, the top 30 finalists will be announced. Those chosen will fly to Washington, D.C. to compete in person for their share of $100,000 in prizes. When asked what they'd say to other young kids who want to do the same, I would just say to try your best. There's no one telling you that you can't do what you want to do. Just put the time in. That's what you really need to do. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.